clinical equipoise. This is defined as the balance of forces or interests. And unfortunately, during COVID times, this is sadly lacking. The uncertainty regarding COVID is hampering our ability to treat patients with this infection. In fact, there are two laws of Murphy. One of them states that the number of different therapeutic options available for a condition is inversely proportional to the available knowledge. The other one states that the progress of science varies inversely the number of journal articles published regarding that topic. And as you know, there are plenty of articles regarding COVID and almost all the medical journals are flooded with information and articles about COVID. Conditions of information overload and uncertainty related anxiety increase the tendency to inappropriately favor recent information. Confirmation bias also reinforces preconceived notions. We start relying on anecdotal evidence and personal experience. Desperation drives us to use unvalidated treatments and unproven remedies. Moreover, all this information is available on public domain, which means the patients and their attenders want doctors to try anything and everything possible, even if it has no proven value. The usual argument is, what do you have to lose? Actually, we may have a lot to lose. We don't know yet. So I think during this biopsychosocial crisis, it is very important that we don't stifle the voice of reason. We have to act swiftly, but with caution and logical analysis. We need to maintain clinical equipoise. We have to resist from using drugs which may not have value, which may include hydroxychloroquine, may include drugs like ivermectin and doxycycline, azithromycin, which was used in the initial part of this pandemic. We also have to think twice about using industrial doses of zinc and vitamin C. The same thing goes for high dose of steroids also. Even though these drugs may have benefit, we don't know yet. And I think we have to exercise caution and use evidence in deciding what may benefit the patient.